Iga Swiatek versus Maria Sakkari is the women's final at Indian Wells for 2022. And both ladies have had different roads to get to the final. Zachary entered the tournament as the number six seed and got a bye in the first round. Her second round matchup was against Czech Siniakova. And after an easy first set, she had to fight in the second set to win 6-3, 7-5. In the third round, she take on the 27th seed, Petra Kvitova. And after winning the first set, she blitz Kvitova in the second, going through in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love. In the fourth round, she take on the qualifier, Saville, who had had a very impressive run to get to this stage. But unfortunately for Saville, it was one too many matches, and Sakri ended up getting through thanks to her retirement, 4-1 in the first set, with Saville retiring. In a quarterfinal matchup, she'd take on the 17 seed Rabakina. And after a close first set, having to fight back to get it, she ended up getting through in straight sets, 7-5, 6-4. In her semi-final, Sakura would take on the number five seed and defending champion, Paula Badosa. And after losing the second set, which was her first set loss for the week, she dominated the third set, taking out the defending champ, 6-2, 4-6, 6-1 to advance to her first Masters 1000 final. Iga Swiatek entered the tournament as the third seed and got a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on unseeded Ukrainian Kalanina. And after dropping the first set very closely, she blitzed it in the second two, eventually winning in three, five, seven, six love, six one. In the third round, she'd take on fellow Young Gun and the number 29 seed Towson. And again, after dropping the first set, she fought back to win in three, six, seven, six, two, six, one. In the fourth round, she'd take on veteran and number 15 seed, Angelique Kerber. And again, after dropping the first set, she had to fight back to win, getting through in three, four, six, six, two, six, three. In her quarterfinal matchup, she'd take on American and number 25 seed, Madison Keys. And this was the best performance from Striantec for the week, dominating the American in straight sets, 6-1, six, 6-love. Six, Striantec would take on number 24 seed, Halep, in the semifinals, who had a really good run up until this stage. The first set was going back and forth, a very close tiebreak, Sriontek held her nerve, and after an injury to Halep in the second, Sriontek cruised to victory, winning in straight sets, 7-6, 6-4, to advance to the final. These two have played four times before, with Zachary winning 3-1 in the last couple of years, but the last time they played was a couple of weeks ago in Doha, with Sriontek finally getting her first win against this opponent. If Zachary's gonna win, she needs to be aggressive, like she has been against Sriontek in the past. Except for that Doha match a couple of weeks ago, she had been very aggressive in their previous matches, and that really frustrated Sriontek. If Sriontek's going to win, she needs to keep her calm. I know she does that against most players, but against Zachary, for some reason, she gets a little angry, a little frustrated, and she needs to keep her cool. Also, the confidence of the win a couple of weeks ago should go a long way. This is a very tough match for me because we know that Iga loves playing in big finals. She always wins the big matches in the finals, but I'm going to go with Zachary to win her first Masters 1000 trophy. I feel like she's due for one, over the last 12 months, she's been amazing. She's had a career high ranking. I think she's going to finally get that big trophy. Let me know down in the comments below, who do you think is going to win this final?